The new location for St. James Daycare will not be ready until July. Well, one parent told us that they were only given one day's notice and they have nowhere to take their children for the next month. 98 kids attend the child care facility and K-Texas reporter Michelle Frizzalone spoke to concerned parents there today. Michelle? Braid, parents we talked to say they're frantically searching for other child care. Many each work full-time jobs and some have no vacation days. He's been here ever since he was about, oh, about one year old or a little less. Frustrated, to say the least. Uh, basically, we showed up uh, yesterday morning, Thursday, and uh, there was a note on the door that said that Wednesday night the church voted to force the daycare out. Joseph King and other parents are scrambling to find a place to send their children. Desperately trying to figure out, you know, what we're going to do with our son for the next four to six weeks. There's a waiting list all over town, so... I don't know what we do really. I mean, we got two full time jobs. Joseph says they were initially told about the relocation several months ago. We were assured at that time that there would be no interruption in service, that the, uh, you know, we'd have daycare here until the, the new facility was ready to open up. That new facility won't be ready until mid July. Angry, frustrated, uh, you know, I, I don't. I don't understand the rationale behind it. We've asked um, for explanations over and over. The daycare has leased space from the St. James United Methodist Church for 20 years. So why are they being asked to leave? Workers from the church tell us in a statement, quote, the CDC has been unable to pay their share of joint expenses as well as meet other financial obligations. This made it difficult to manage the church's cash flow. We checked into those allegations and according to these court documents filed by the Department of Treasury, the St. James Child Development Center owes $48,902 of employment tax to the federal government. Angie Tomlin with the church says warning was given to the daycare. CDC's board members as well as the director were notified that their last day would be May the 31st, um, by, all by telephone Saturday, February the 25th. This also affects the 28 teachers who depend on a paycheck. They say they're heartbroken. I know all of them by name. I know what their favorite colors are. And to know that for an entire month that I'm not going to get to see them, it really hurts. It really hurts. And the daycare will now be called Kids First. It will be located on Beltway South in the First Church of Nazarene. Thank you, Michelle. The daycare declined to comment on camera, but they gave us this statement. We have had some financial issues. Changes have been and continue to be made. We take responsibility for our mistakes. Now, they also tell us when they were first told to find another location at the end of February, they did so promptly. They requested additional time for permits and inspections to be completed and were told informally by the church they would work with them. Wednesday night, they say they were informed the requested time was denied and they must be out of the church by May 31st.